Welcome back, Cancers. I'm back again. <laughs> All right, so this is like the third video that I've done for Cancer for the month of April. You guys got a triple dose. I had gotten uh, my first video was deleted. My second video was deleted. I think my second video may have been deleted because I titled it COVID um, Virus Talk. So maybe that is why it got deleted. So I'm not, I'm not really sure. So I'm going to start over. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that bell to subscribe. Make sure you guys hit the like button on your way in, okay? <clears throat> Show me some love. Hit the like button on your way in. Okay, y'all comment below if this message resonates with you. Y'all let me know what y'all got going on during quarantine. Quarantine, quarantine party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all let me know what y'all got going on. My city is pretty much still flowing. Um, You know, it's just, you know, things are kept at a minimum. All the stores and everything are still open. And, you know, people are just practicing social distancing right now. Okay. I want to let you guys know about my, um, I want to let you guys know about my special that I am going to continue to run, okay? So, I was on the fence about it on whether or not to continue it, but, you know, I did get an extensive amount of emails asking to extend the sale. So, I'll extend the sale through the month of April, all right? So, if you want to book your very own personal reading with the Empress, PayPal or Cash App is accepted only, okay? You can book your personal read, and I only do a certain amount of readings per day, okay? So book now. That information is going to be in the drop box below. You get a free question with your um, with your reading, okay? So you get a reading with one question, and you get an additional question for free, which I am going to utilize my pendulum here to answer your yes or no question, okay? Let's get into it. Enough jibba dabba, right? <laughs> let's get into it. So let's see what energy is coming towards my cancers. Okay, what message is... Give me an overall message for cancer, please. Give me overall energy for cancers. This is a timeless reading, guys. Now I am doing this on April the 1st. So it's whatever energy is coming towards you through the month of... Starting through the month of April. So whenever you're meant to see this reading is whenever you're meant to see it, okay? All right, let's see. You guys got the same energy, okay? You guys got the same card from the card. This was the same card that jumped out in your previous reading. But it looks like somebody here wants a second chance. Somebody wants a second chance here. Somebody is uh, also, like, maybe you're waiting for somebody to express their feelings here. Could be a fire sign. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. I got uh, Virgo here with the Hermit card. Taurus here. Pisces. But somebody, it looks like somebody wants a second chance. Why is the Judgment card here? Ooh. Okay. Someone's afraid. He, uh, see, someone's stuck in their head about something, trying to manifest this second chance, but someone here is stuck in their head, okay? Someone may be afraid to make, uh, to, to uh, try to get this manifested into their reality here. Let's see what's going on, Cancers. Give me past energy for cancers, please. Past energy. Give me past energy. Thank you. All right, we got the four of pentacles. All right. You've been refraining from reaching out to this person. It looks like you've been holding back, refraining, out, refraining, reaching out to this person. This person can be an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or you're refraining from asking them for favors or asking them for money or asking them to help you do something, something in that nature. You've been refraining from doing that, okay? You kind of put that on hold. You put that on hold. You put it on hold. Let's see what's present energy. Queen of Pentacles. Lots of Pentacles here. Future energy is the Knight of Cups, okay? 
Some of you are dealing with a karmic situation here. The justice card is here in reverse. You could be dealing with the court system or something in that nature. Um, or you could be dealing with the Libra. I got Scorpio here too, but I'm feeling like you feel like something isn't fair or you haven't gotten um, your justice in this situation, okay? It's like you're not satisfied fully. Why is the Four of Pentacles here in the past for Cancers? Why is the Four of Pentacles? Some of y'all are dealing with an Aquarius. I got Taurus energy here as well. You were losing faith in this situation. I feel like... That's the two of ones here. I feel like... Someone stopped chasing someone here. Like you decided to stop chasing someone. Like, you're done chasing this person. I got the Ten of Wands in the reverse and the Knight of Swords in the reverse. So, someone in here stopped chasing somebody. I feel like it's you. You stopped chasing this person. Like, you losing faith in this, in this situation, in this connection. Like, you didn't really feel connected anymore. You decided, you woke up one day and just decided that you were done chasing this person. Now, currently, right now, you, you could be focused on your pinnacle with this Queen of Pentacles here. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, you're standing your ground, okay? You are focused, okay? You got your mind together. You're thinking more so with logics instead of your emotions, which is very good because I know that takes a lot of discipline coming from a Cancer, all right? I'm a Cancer moon, and... It's, you know, it took me a while to get my emotions in check, okay? I'm a Pisces sun and a Cancer moon. Lots of water, okay? And for you guys to carry this Queen of Swords energy here, you guys, it looks like you guys are all about your bag with this Queen of Pentacles. You're thinking about your finances and your career. You're staying focused. And you're, you know, you're not taking no BS. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Yep, the devil. Look, and you're willing to walk away, okay? You're willing to walk away from anything that no longer serves you, okay? I feel like you have cut a tie. You have cut a tie, a soul tie or something like that, something that you were really, really, really connected to and chained to at one point in time. I feel like you're willing to eat, to walk away from this, okay? Because you know what you deserve. Look at you, the empress, Okay? And you you looking back like and I'm not and I don't regret it. <laughs> I don't want to regret, so I'm not going to regret. Okay, I'm willing to cut a mother off right now. You're done off with your head. Okay, <laughs> why is the Knight of Cups here for future energy? Why is the Knight of Cups here? Okay. Y'all cards flying everywhere. All right, let's see. Mm, somebody is offering you something or they're coming to you. They're trying to reach out to you, communicate with you, but you do not, you're not accepting the offer. You're not accepting the offer. You don't want it. Okay, you don't want it. You're willing to walk away. I feel like some of you are like, I don't have to. Okay, someone may be listening to their family. Okay, someone may be, you know, like, you could be listening to your family. Your family could be giving you advice. Somebody could be giving you some type of advice. And I feel like you're listening to it and you're not going to accept this offer. They're going to be coming in with some type of offer and you're not going to be accepting it. Hell no. Hell no. No. How does this person, let's see. I want to see how this person feels about cancers. Y'all like my little small cards? I just got these in the mail. I love them. But see, the thing about these cards is that they fly everywhere, okay? They fly everywhere. Like, as soon as I start shuffling them, they just, like, go everywhere. 
Okay, so I'm going to reshuffle. Look how tiny they are. <laughs> but I love this. I love the, the meanings and the phrases on these cards. I love it. Okay, so. If I didn't read the reviews on this, I would have been pissed. Like, why the fuck did they send me these little teeny tiny cards? What am I supposed to do with this? But I had already read the reviews. I knew they were going to be small. So I wasn't tripping. I actually like them. Give me a... Um, give me, let me know how they feel about cancer. How do they feel about cancer? How do they view cancer? How does this other person view cancer? Look, we got not today, not not dealing, okay? Somebody is hurt. Somebody is avoiding the conversation, a call, a person, or a boundary. Somebody is still angry. They're still angry. They, they feel some type of way. They feel some type of way about something, okay? Let me see. See what I'm saying? Like these cards are flying everywhere. Everything goes as planned. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't shuffle so hard. Because I be getting to it. Okay. So why are they feeling like they don't want to talk or they, they're still angry with cancer? Because somebody's not speaking. You guys aren't maybe on speaking terms. They may be mad at you because you've been holding back from reaching out to them. Ooh, they feel stabbed in the back. <sighs> they are feeling heartbroken. They're feeling some pain. Okay, they feel decept like there's deception. Ooh. What action are they going to take towards cancer? Give me future energy. What action are they going to take towards cancer in the future? Ooh, okay. They gave me one this time. Self-indulgence. Focus on self. Self-worth. Time to heal. Shadow work and self-appreciation. Okay, so someone is going to be expressing their love, okay, or a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. Like, they're going to reach out. They're going to try to reach out and, and you know, call you, communicate with you and say, hey, how you doing? What's up? What you got going on? But they're going to be see that you are being self-indulgent, okay? That you're going to be focused on yourself like you're not even thinking about them. That's how they're going to feel like you're not even thinking about them. You're like, yeah, okay, yeah, uh-huh, whatever. What message is there for my cancers? Y'all is being so... I love it. To be honest, I'm not even going to cap. Like, I really enjoy this energy coming from you, cancers. Like, I love it. I feel like you guys are standing firm. You aren't being a pushover. You're not letting anybody run you over. I'm loving it. Like, I like it. I, love, I really, really enjoy this energy from Cancer. I'm really, really digging it. All right, so we got Ask Your Angels, okay? Ask Your Angels and ask others for support, okay? 
So some of you may be getting advice from people. Whoever you're getting advice from is keeping you on the straight and narrow path. You guys are doing a wonderful job. There's like, I, I see that if you guys are in a social group and you guys are communicating and they're giving you advice and you're following through with it, it's, it's building you up. I definitely see that you're being built up, okay? If the advice is beneficial, continue to, to accept the advice. All right, we got yes. <laughs> There's something better for you, okay? Within the next few weeks, there's an opportunity. Get ready. Get ready, okay? Listen to your, uh, your intuition. An opportunity is getting ready to present itself to you within a few weeks, okay? There's something better that's right around the corner for you. Something is coming. Something, a big opportunity is coming, okay? Give me one more card. Choose a new direction. Choose a new direction choose a new direction wow wow i'm telling you something within the next few weeks is getting ready to pop off okay and there's something better came out again all right so there's some type of need for you guys to choose a new direction on on a situation okay within a few weeks there's an opportunity getting ready to present itself it's looking like you should say yes Okay, so if there's a golden opportunity that presents itself within the next few weeks and it's beneficial to you and is it's going to help you be a better version of you, yes, 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 go for it. There's something better, okay? There's something better. It looks like unlikely here somebody is going to be unable to forgive or somebody isn't going to apologize or show you what it is that you need to see. So it looks like there's something better, okay? So you're going to have to choose a new direction. Let me see. Let me grab a clarifier. Let's choose a new direction here. Mm -hmm. Somebody is tired of asking someone to, you know, she's just tired of saying the same thing, repeating the same thing over and over. Mm -hmm. You're tired of asking for the same thing or... You're tired of asking for something and it's not manifesting. You're not seeing any results, okay? You're not seeing the results. So, there's something better, okay? There's a new direction that you need to take, all right? Ask your angels for help and you will be guided, loves, all right? I hope this reading was helpful for you. If you want to book your very own personal reading with the Empress, information is in the drop box below. I'll chat with y'all later. Ciao.